What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. We're going to be on Epic 7 today. We're looking at the one minute review. Um, we're also going to take a look at Christy's kit and how she's changing. So let's do the summary right here. New side story, new hero called Biblis. And we're going to get special change for Silver Tide Christy as well as a Moonlight Theater story update. And we're also going to be getting a Arena schedule and Guild War schedule. And I'll show you guys all of that stuff as we go along. And matter of fact, we might start with the Guild War and Arena Scales since those things are not that interesting to me. So for the Arena, it says Arena Oak Season begins on 12-11. So that's later on. Um, yeah, this week or next week, I'm not saying. Yeah, next week, Monday. So we'll be seeing that start. So if you're not ready for arena, you need to be getting ready, guys. Hopefully we have like an unequipped event or something this weekend to get us ready. So we can get our characters ready for it. But if we don't, you know, you just have to spend some gold and get your characters ready. Also, this level 88 immunity set will be purchasable, um, I guess, throughout this season. So... It'll be something worth picking up probably if you don't want to wait on it. Usually I'll wait until they're past the seasons to get stuff because it's a little bit cheaper. But, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I'm actually trying to do RTA this, this season, but I'm really not finished building my characters out. And I still need some gear to actually finish some of them. So we'll see. But I do have a lot of stuff sitting on my account. A lot of resources that I need to use so I might be able to get them done before season like I said if we get an unequipped event that would be very very helpful but we'll see all right for Guild War the preseason starts on December the 9th until wait that's not right right or is it ending on December the night and Guild War in sight season? No, okay. Preseason is starting on the night. Because it's saying that Guild War Insight season is ending. So we should be getting going back in the preseason if I'm not mistaken. We'll talk about also here, we got job breaks coming up for Araminta. So if you don't have her, that's be something worth getting from the 7th to the 14th for Sharoon which is a very very highly uh, wanted character for PvP um, and most of the PvE content too she can do both we got little bits on the 14th to the 21st that's right before Christmas and Bilbis is coming on the 14th to the 28th I'm, I'm, I'm saying her name like that but I don't know how you say it yet I have to hear someone say it. You also got Mystic's rotation. You got Eternal, Wonder, Ludwig, and Fighter Maya coming up. Um, both of these characters. I kind of need both of them. I haven't picked up Fighter Maya yet. So I might be looking for both of these. But I don't know. We'll see. I don't. I just haven't missed this I got. Because I really kind of want that Ludwig. I feel like he's going to be a better, developed, the best version of Ludwig to come out. Although he's still sitting and being lazy. But we're going to talk about Christy's kit, guys. Because that's going to be very interesting. First, let's go ahead and show off Christy's old kit. In her old kit, her A1 does provoke a 75% chance. And, which is pretty good. For um, tank type character, she's a knight, so she's a tank. And her her most of the skills are based off of you know the cast's max health, so she does a little damage, but not really a lot because of her being a tank. But I guess if you can max out her health, she probably be stronger. But most time when it's all based off their health, they don't do much attack. This doesn't scale well on the health. Since I, most time I've seen. Um, her oath shield after being attacked 
she and she doesn't have a debuff, she's gonna increase her combat readiness, meaning she's gonna move up. And she's also gonna give the uh, ally on the team effect resistance. So that's gonna be cool. And she also has Hem of Courage, which is gonna increase her attack for ally for two turns and increase the defense of the caster for two turns. Now this is the one that you usually change. So let's go over and I'm gonna show you what how it changed. Um, because the special change is coming out to us tomorrow and we can't look at her in game yet. So I'll show you guys still though. All right, so Hayama Courage her skill three is what's changing. She's gonna gain the effectiveness. So this is gonna help her effectiveness out. So I don't know if it's how much effectiveness is gonna give her, but if it boosts all the way to 100, 100%, after using this, you're able to provoke them with the A1. So I feel like this is gonna make her very decent at taking or helping mitigate damage so that the allies can live longer as well as she's going to buff them. So they're going to have a buff and she's going to get mitigation. Um, it might work out, but it feels like it's still going to be like not worth using. So, I mean, you're going to only be able to use it later in the fight anyway, but since it's that type of ability, it's on her skill three. But if you can use it early, would it be even good? It's something people are going to have to play with. Um, I can show you her runes. If you really want to look at the, that type of stuff, though, you might want to go look at her video. It's on the Epic 7 website. Silver Tide Christie is what you'd be looking for, her preview. But I just wanted to show you guys what's changing with her. Um, her look doesn't look to change that much. It would have been nice if she they would have changed her look a little bit. But I think it's still going to be pretty much the same look. Um, maybe they're gonna pull out a skin with her. Who knows? Uh, but having her um, awakening, I, I, it's not awakening, but you know, th this is what she need. The game is needing. I need to do more characters more frequently. Honestly, though, but as I talked about in my three star video, showing a three star some love video. If you haven't looked at that one, check that one out. But guys, if you think someone else needs a special change. Uh, leave a comment thinking, saying who you need, you think would need a special change. Hey guys, if you like the lore in this game, uh, comment and tell me the exact story or how much you know about it. It's something I really would want, I'm wondering about. But anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe on the way out. See you guys in the next video.